have thought of uh, the spray burner being used in the vertical instead of the horizontal position, the opposite of the last video, well, here it is, working fine. My last video was a vertical burner demonstrated in the horizontal position just to shake things up and get really wild and funky here on the oil burner channel I thought I'd uh, spin it round and do a burner that was designed as a horizontal firing model in the vertical position just part of the, uh, the fun and mayhem here this is the spray burner has uh, been popular in a few of the other videos. Obviously I've just clamped it in the upright position. The tin there I've got a little bit of uh, petrol in. I'm going to like that and hopefully the flame will travel up and um, like the, uh, the oil spray. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm not sure that the... Um, that the uh, tin is going to flare enough to give enough flame height so I'm going to go back to the old standby of the, uh, the bit of flaming rag and see how it goes with that Just a little bit of warm up to uh, get that tube vaporizing and it's off and running quite nicely. when they arrive. No two ways about it. Well, wouldn't you know it, viewers, some Pelican Drongo forgot to fill the oil tank and the thing ran out. So it looks like we have to do another light, which gives you a bit of a, uh, a two-for-one deal, I suppose. Let's see how we go this time.
longer on the oil. But as you can see, it does light on it just the same. And we've got quite a nice flame to boot. I'm going to have to remember to tighten up those fittings. I think this is the third or fourth uh, video I've done of this and I still haven't remembered. So there's your construction tip. Make sure you put the uh, thread tape on all the fittings the first time you do this. That way you won't get that bit of dripping oil out the bottom. shot that fence is a little bit over seven feet tall in the background so uh, I've probably got about a three foot flame there not doing too badly I'll probably have to work on getting something like a 10 or 12 foot flame just to impress the neighbors when they arrive wouldn't want them getting chilly in winter now would we see to keep the uh, nice greeny environmentalist Nazis happy this burns nice and clean I'm sorry about that I'll try and rectify it and get it to smoke good and proper just so they've got something to whinge about in the next video I know that they won't be happy with this and they'll have to have a whinge about something but you know we can only improve as we go right started typing comments before they've got this far and they don't realize that that gas bottle has not had gas in it for years but been filled and refilled with just compressed air many times but the safety tip is don't heat up your 100 kilo gas bottle over one of these burners you might get a little bit more fire than what you want sadly this might be one of the more appropriate safety tips I've ever done for the idiots out there. But, you know, unfortunately, we're committed to uh, interfering with the process of natural selection like this. The beauty of doing these um, early evening burns is that you get a nice, satisfying glow off everything. I'm hoping the neighbours are going to like this. I might even be able to save them on electricity through not having to run so many electric lights. Geez, I'm a nice fella. As I've become increasingly aware, some people only uh, watch one video when I've got so many more on my channel. Just to recap, that's the pressure tank which contains the uh, fuel is pressurized by the compressed air you can see and that feeds into the burner I've got another video or two on that so if you haven't seen them already click on the oil burner name just below the vid and have a look at all the other uh, features that I've got now this all looks 
well and good and uh, very nice so why don't we try something uh, a little bit more interesting and to get the safety sissies upset and try running a pipe over the top of it and uh, see how that goes. Even better for the neighbours. Look how high that's running now. And gives that nice Australian didgeridoo type sound. Bloody bonza, mate. running. Maybe we can have another bloke trailing up behind with a generator. Now that would be something to see, don't you reckon, viewers? That's my kind of Olympic torch. Now we're cooking with oil that's uh, flat out on the uh, needle valve and I'm running about 30 psi. Not quite sure what the output is, but again, I'm standing about 15 feet back and it's significant. And look how it load, throws a lovely warming light around the place. Isn't that nice? My neighbors are gonna love that when they move in. And for those of you who wonder why I've got it in for my new neighbors, let me just tell you about the semi-trailer that pulled up this morning at 5 a.m. with a forklift running up and down the road un unloading roof tiles. Yeah, that kind of did piss me off a bit, but that's all right. I'm going to uh, have a little bit of fun when they finally move in. Probably a bit hard to see on the video, but that uh, thick wall pipe, which is about three inches, is uh, starting to burn the gal off and turn a nice red colour now. Won't be long and that'll be glowing nicely. And as you can see, the whole thing is well behaved. I think the dripping stopped again now, probably burning it off as it goes, and uh, it's just sitting there doing its thing. Again, you don't need to go to a lot of complexity and expense to make a ripper burner. Let's see one of the Delavan nozzle type things do that. Seeing this made me think of another safety tip I better tell you all. As nice as this is, don't try and use it as a night light in your bathroom or your kitchen. It may not uh, work out quite as well as you hoped, even though it does have that nice warm glow to it. Remember, safety third. As you can see, viewers, this works just fine in the upright position, even though it's mainly used the other way around. The principle's all the same, and uh, once you get a little bit of heat, they work just fine. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please click the like button if you did. Share it around with somebody that might like a laugh or be amazed. Please don't forget to look at my other videos. I get a lot of uh, comments about things I've already done. So click on the oil burner channel name just under the video and have a look at all the rest of the uh, things that I've done. Thank you very much for watching.